In this video, we're going to be checking out truth from falsity, okay, and in your own life and examining thoughts. So, hi, my name is Jody Dean, and I'm here in beautiful Hanya in Crete. Uh, beautiful just to be by the water, you know, the healing water. This is the water is. <laughs> who we really are in one way because it's 90% water and water conducts consciousness but that's another video and another story um, but you know I see all the elements as externalizations of who I am and uh, yeah you know the more that we can um, cultivate a relationship direct relationship with the elements um, the more empowered we can become and actually the more balanced we become because they can teach us so much about who we are and about the principles of life and reality. Um, there are some people swimming in the sea over there. I don't know if you can make that out. It's lovely here, it's about 23 degrees Celsius right now. Feeling blast. And this is one of my favorite places, I have to say, right? You just kind of be here down by the waterside. There's no one really around. Um, it's far away from the crowds. And, you know, there's some kind of old kind of ruins here. Um, and you know, I've been down here and it's been very windy and ve very rough the water and you would just like never imagine actually sitting here because you'd just be covered in waves the whole time and then some days it's like this and it's just like nice and calm and beautiful um, so anyway back to checking out for yourself what the truth is about anything so what we're doing here really I mean one way to describe this is Byron Katie's work which is the work and they are the four questions is it true how can I know that it's true? Um, how do I feel when I think this thought? And then who would I be without this thought? That's the four questions in a nutshell. Now, you don't have to do all of that if you don't want to. Of course, it is advisable because it is tried and true methodology. However, it can almost just be enough just to ask, is it true? You know, perhaps you can, you know, the more you get good at it, and, and maybe that's just me and the people I work with, the more we get good at this, Ultimately, it just boils down to this like binary question. Is it yes, is it real, or is it no, is it false, is it illusion, is it a zero or a one? And this is the invitation, is to look at everything in your life, in your reality, your deepest held beliefs, your philosophies, your ideas about self, your self-concept, um, your thoughts that you have about yourself, the thoughts that are going around your head all day long that cause you suffering, that may cause you suffering, and just asking this simple question, guys, it's so simple, which is so liberating at the same time when you get the hang of it, okay? Now, it can be difficult, right, to ask this question on your own, right? Because I remember, you know, coming across the work early on, and, you know, Byron Katie's definitely been a mentor, I never met her, but, you know, watched countless hours of her videos and, and read her books, some of the books and listen to them as well and um, what happened for me and it seems to be what happens for a lot of people is that they actually need someone else to hold space for them where they ask when they ask the question because we can't see the wood for the trees right the thought and the feeling and the sensation is so strong oh look naked bodies <laughs> they're not semi-naked um, the thought, the feeling, the sensation is so strong and so believable and engaging and real, feels so real that we're actually, we, we can't see beyond it and we can't zoom out enough or zoom in, however you want to describe it, to, to get clarity around it and actually to see it for what it is and check it out if it's real or not. So that's where a guide, a coach, you know, etc., a mentor will come in. And when someone did that for me first time and really held me through those four questions with a thought that was bothering me, right? Because we're not talking about any old thought. We're talking about the thoughts that cause you suffering, the thoughts that bother you, right? And so, you know, that's where the rubber hits the road. That's where the real deal is at, right? Like, ah, you know, and then these can be any kind of thought. It could be, you know, I'll always be lonely, you know, uh, or my, my partner doesn't love me, or um, it could be, you know, a question like, um, or, or a feeling or a, a, a recurring thought like, um, uh, you know, I never have enough money or uh, I'll never be a millionaire. I just did a process around that. That was very interesting. Or, um, 
It could be something about you know your, your body shape or your size, uh, health. Um, uh, you know, cigarettes will kill me or something like that. Or, or it could be something else like my my brother you know hates me or something like that. Um, I'm never enough, you know, I'm not enough, you know, because a good one. I'm too much, I could be another one, right? So these, these thoughts that are really close, right, really close, they're the ones that, you know, dictate how we feel ultimately and the, you know, can cause us suffering, right? So, you know, that's what depression is usually, is a, a just recurring thoughts that just get so intense, um, they become just like this snowball energy that just brings us down because we keep think, thinking these thoughts and we keep suffering and feeling compressed and sad and lonely and small. And so the invitation here is to get really cheeky and curious and inquisitive with these thoughts and actually check them out if they're actually even true or not. Because crazy thing, right, would be to think thoughts that aren't true. That would be a really crazy thing to do, wouldn't it, right? To, to live your life based on thoughts and ideas philosophies that aren't true it's crazy right it's a, it's a it's a mad you'd be living in a mad false reality then wouldn't you and that wouldn't be a healthy place would it so the invitation here is to, to actually check out what your thoughts are saying to check out your beliefs you know, beliefs are thoughts that we keep thinking so um, that's the invitation right now so let's do that so let's take a thought right take a thought that's causing you pain right now be real, be honest, be vulnerable with yourself. You don't have to tell me, you don't have to share it. You're welcome to put it in the comments if you want to and then go through the process. That could actually, could cement something and ground in the actual realization around it. But you don't have to at all. You can keep it private to yourself. So you can work with anything, right? Um, so a common one might be, I'm not enough. I'll always be lonely. I'll always be miserable. Um, you know, my partner doesn't love me. They're a classic, you know. Uh, classic ones. I'll always be broke, you know, there's another one, classic. Um, so, you know, whatever, right? I'm unattractive, could be another one. There's so many things, right? That, but but we are going to cause you suffering, cause you pain right now and just, ah, make you depressed. So, ask the question, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Check it out, is it true? Really ask. Second question, how can I know that it's true? How can I know that it's true? How can I know that it's true that I'm I'm in a, that I'm not enough. And maybe you can't. Ah, you can't actually know that it's true. So then, therefore, it could not be true. Ah, so that's where you start to see really what the truth is, the binary, the false and the real. Hmm, how do I actually know that it's true? That's a really good one. I don't actually know that it's true. I'm just basing it off on past experiences or what people told me, but I actually know that it's true. Aha. How do I feel when I think this thought? Well, I feel pain, I feel scared, I feel lonely. Okay. Who would I be without this thought? <laughs> well, if I didn't think this thought, and I, you know, if, without this thought in my reality, oh, wow, I feel light, I feel playful, I feel expanded. Amazing, right? So take the opportunity to do it, and you can obviously pause the video. Um, and ask those questions and just look, feel in your body as well the body truth is in the body the body never lies that's another one so anyway i hope that was helpful um, if you'd like some guidance and support around any of this or anything else in your life activating your highest vision your impactful purpose-driven life um, getting things together you know then um, book a call with me use the link in the description um, and we can get you some clarity and activate the highest timeline for you also, I have a Black Friday special offer at the moment running, so um, post in the comments Black Friday special offer and I'll get that to you. Um, it's for basically something very, it's crazy. It's a crazy irresistible offer, so you, <laughs> you really want to hear about it. Um, and, uh, and finally, yes, if you like this video, then please give it a like and yeah, comment. I'd love to hear your comments about this. Have you done this process before? Um, how was doing that process for you? Do you struggle with it, etc.? Um, would a community, being in a community of like-minded people working through this kind of stuff help you? Um, I'm curious because that's something I might set up if I have enough people. Um, and yes, that's it really. Blessings. Um, do subscribe if you feel resonant with this work and uh, anything else I'm sharing or my energy. And uh, yeah, check out some of my other videos for other great content around spiritual awakening, soul purpose and authentic self-expression. All right. I've been Jody Dean. Blessings. Take care of yourself. 
Remember that you are love itself. Bye for now.